Ted has been busy tracking some intense storms and he's also watching the potential for flooding. That's right. We've had quite a bit of rainfall and that's one thing that can't be uh, underscored enough. We have a lot of uh, heavy rain still headed our way and uh, that's what's uh, been the story here in Rochester. Not severe weather, but heavy rainfall in the past uh, couple of hours. Very uh, difficult to move around on you uh, to, to drive when you have such uh, so a deluge of rain uh, experience in the last hour. We're going to see another couple of uh, heavier showers like that in the coming time. Uh, the next few hours. There's a live look outside with our Louis Donato camera from Assisi Heights. Light rain falling right now. Watch the really intense cluster of storms kind of weakening uh, as it does uh, work its way across the map. More intense activity coming from the southwest. This is a leading wave of, of thunderstorm activity with a, an area of low pressure that's coming in from the southwest. Uh, Mesa City getting uh, quite a, a deluge right now. Downpour of rain and uh, some uh, almost one inch hail, but also some pretty strong wind gusts. 60 mile per hour wind gusts. So the severe thunderstorm warning for Cerro Gordo County, also Worth County. This portion of that uh, cluster of counties in the warning. That's until 1245. The eastern portion of that is just now seeing the edge of that activity come in toward uh, Charles City and a big portion of Floyd County, also Mitchell County. That goes until 1 o'clock. So two separate severe thunderstorm warnings for those four counties in North Iowa. As we look at the, the tracker and what's uh, headed our way, we're talking Norris Springs next to a handful of minutes. Uh, Charles City coming up at 1242. Saratoga coming up uh, just before 1 o'clock. And Austin uh, just before 1 o'clock as well on the Minnesota side of the border. There's that compact area of low pressure. It's, they call it it's a mesoscale uh, type of event when we're talking small scale thunder storm complex, mesoscale center of vorticity and a lot of spin with this. You see the area of low pressure pushing eastward, generating some pretty gusty winds with it. Uh, a lot of instability, so also some uh, hail and some uh, really rich humidity fueling the, the heavy rain concern too. So this area of low pressure is going to migrate eastward and with that in mind, we have a severe thunderstorm watch downhill, uh, downstream for that uh, approaching uh, complex of storms. So Albert Lee, Austin, everything east and southeast in that watch until 7 o'clock this evening. Rochester is in an aerial flood advisory, and that goes until 245. One inch of rain has fallen, radar as estimating, uh, and we are looking at one to two additional inches between now and about 245. Temperatures uh, cooling with that rain in the in neighborhood. Uh, Dodge Center 68, Rochester 66, where it has yet to rain a whole lot hotter. To Cora 86, Lacrosse meanwhile 75, with a little rain in the neighborhood there as well. Dew point has fallen as have the temperatures. East winds 21 miles per hour, 66 in Rochester, mid 60s for those dew points. So we're going to break from the intense mugginess, but still a lot of humidity to fuel storm chances. We'll have scattered showers and thunderstorms all the way into the early evening. Uh, watch goes until 7. We may have rain lingering in the area even beyond that until about 9, maybe 10 o'clock before we really clear off. Friday looks terrific with some sun, a break from the mugginess. The weekend looks halfway decent, a little rain, but also less humidity and some reasonable temperatures. Uh, right now, slight risk of severe weather for the remainder of today for the Storm Prediction Center from Rochester areas southward with damaging winds and large hail. The primary concerns tomorrow, blissfully quiet, severe weather risk to our west along and west of the Missouri Valley. So future track, we're looking at those thunderstorms really pushing eastward. The strongest activity along the south of Interstate 90 until about uh, 7 o'clock this evening. That's where that watch is in effect. By around 9 to 10 o'clock, we get a break for the rain sky then clear off. So storm chances to the rest of the, today into the evening. Nothing tomorrow. Scattered showers and benign thunderstorms. Not severe weather environment for Saturday. Uh, rainfall uh, totals so far we, we came into the to today about an inch below average since J June 1st. So the last uh, six weeks have been on the dry side for Rochester. We've made up a lot of that already. More scattered showers and storms. 74 will recover to that with maybe some late day breaks of sunshine beyond that last cluster of thunderstorm activity. But here's future track. Cold front pushing eastward. That's the focus of this activity. That and that MCV, that area of convective activity. Activity. Uh, that's going to push eastward a compact area of low pressure with that front. High pressure then comes in with a break from mugginess, a nice northwest breeze. Temperatures still on the warm side, low and mid 80s tomorrow. And then here comes uh, an upper level disturbance that triggers showers and thunderstorms from very late Friday night through Saturday. Extra cloud cover holds temperatures down to low and mid 80s and will be sunnier with 80s still on Sunday, but still a fairly bit, uh, low level of humidity. 74 today, scattered showers and thunderstorms, winds out of the southwest. Uh, on the lighter side, aside from those gusty winds in the storms themselves that will be up to 40 to 50 miles per hour at times. 64 tonight evening storms then clearing off late uh, northwest breeze and then tomorrow 85 but not as muggy. Very pleasant Friday night, tranquil uh, and a welcome sight given what we're dealing with today. Showers and scattered storms on Saturday with very limited sun. And then next week, more 80s and more midweek showers and thunderstorms, Jess. Oh, a lot of important information there. Thank you, Ted. We'll be right back.